The second portion of the Diffusion Through a Membrane Lab involves making a slide of our friend the red onion. See I've cut some out already, some nice fresh red onion. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to make the slide so you can watch how, the, uh, how, how to properly create a wet mount once again. The red onion has layers just like all onions. The concave surface right here has an epidermis on it, but it doesn't have any pigment. What you want is the upper epidermis on the convex side, and that's a little tougher to get. This one was not that bad. Um, and you just want a tiny, tiny little piece, just about like that. Just put that right on your slide. Now the nice part about this, and the reason we use it for this lab, is it is essentially pre-stained, okay? We don't have to add any staining to it that's going to screw up um, any of our chemical results. So we have the uh, little piece of onion epidermis on there. We're going to put just a tiny, tiny bit of water right on it, or right next to it would be even better. Just enough to kind of float it. And then a cover slip. Now the cover slip is going to protect the objectives of your microscope and also it kind of helps when you're uh, doing the other portion of this lab which is putting the salt water on now there's a tiny air bubble right here and I probably don't have enough water on there so another little tip for making a wet mount if you're not completely happy with the air bubble situation put like a half drop of water on and it will naturally wick under. Now this one does have a few air bubbles right here, but I can live with that. Okay. What I'm gonna try to do is put it on the microscope and show you what it looks like under the microscope. 